Hak, Legend of the Twilight, Hak, Huang Hun no Wan Lun Yun Shuo Tasoge no Udua Densetsu, lit. Hack, Legend of the Twilight Bracelet is a science fiction manga series written by Tatsuya Hamazaki and drawn by Rei Izumi. The 22 chapters of, Hack, Legend of the Twilight appeared as a serial in the Japanese magazine Comptic, and published in three tankoban by Katakawa Shoten from July 2002 to April 2004. Set in a fictional MMORPG, The World, the series focuses on twins Rina and Shugo, who receive chibi avatars in the design of the legendary, hackers known as Kite and Blackrose. After Shugo is given the Twilight Bracelet by a mysterious girl, the two embark on a quest to find Aura and unravel the mystery of the Twilight Bracelet. The series was adapted into a 12-episode anime of the same name directed by Koichi Mashimo and Koji Sawai, and produced by B-Train. Tokyopop licensed the manga series for an English-language release in North America. It published the three volumes from September 2003 to April 2004. Bandai Entertainment had licensed the anime series for North American broadcast. The word, Bracelet, in the title was removed in North America, shortening the title to, Hack, Legend of the Twilight. Following the closure of Bandai Entertainment, Funimation announced at SDCC 2013, that they have acquired four, hack titles including Legend of the Twilight. Plot Set in a fictional MMORPG called The World, the series follows twins Shugo and Rina. After winning a contest, Rina is given a pair of chibi avatars in the design of the legendary, Hackers, Kite and Blackrose. After an odd occurrence, a mysterious AI named Aura gives Shugo the Twilight Bracelet, an item that both aids and hinders him. Rina and Shugo embark on an adventure to find Aura and unravel the mystery of the Twilight Bracelet. Along the way, Shugo and Rina befriend Marei, a rare item hunter, the fierce Uka, and Hotaru, a peaceful girl. While waiting for an event to start, they encounter a strange girl named Zephi, who is lured to Shugo because she believes the bracelet smells like her mother, Aura. It is later realized that Zephi is a vagrant AI, an AI that acts independently outside the parameters of the game. Zephyr's presence upsets many, including the Cobalt Knights, a group of administrators that follow the rule, if you can't control it, delete it, to an extreme. Meanwhile, Balmung, another administrator in the world, encounters problems of his own. The suits, CC Corp's upper-tier executives, are displeased with what little action Balmung has taken against Shugo and his illegal item, the Twilight Bracelet. Balmung's administrative duties are revoked. Kamui, the leader of the Cobalt Knights, begins her pursuit of Shugo and company. She captures Shugo and his friends, but allows Marei, Uka, and Hotaru to leave after they promise they will not interfere with the workings of the world. Shugo, Rina, and Zephi are left in a cell together. Rina and Shugo disagree over whether to stay until the end. After they come to an agreement to stay and fight, Zephi opens the door to the cell, freeing them. In the outside world, Uka, Hotaru, and Marei decide to return to the world and help Shugo. Kazu, a friend of Balmung, meets up with Shugo and party, carrying Helber's key, the key to an area called the Net Slums. Kamui shows up, demanding the key to the Net Slums with her knights in tow. Shugo and Kamui face off, which results in Kamui breaking her axe. Zephi tells her that everyone in the world is blessed. Shugo activates Helber's key and transports himself, Rina, Marei, Hotaru, and Zephi to the Net Slums. Once at the net slums, the party is confronted by Balmung, refuses to allow the party to proceed to Aura unless Shugo can damage him. Shugo struggles, but manages to strike Balmung. Pleased, Balmung hands Shugo the virus cause he'll need to see Aura, he also explains that only three people can go see Aura. Hotaru and Marei say their goodbyes to Zephi, Shugo, and Rina as they activate the virus cause and meet Aura. The manga ends with Zephi being reunited with her mother, and Shugo telling Aura of his adventures in the world. <laughs> <laughs> anime The anime has many differences from the manga, though the story begins in much the same way. 
Rena wins a limited edition character model contest for the world and invites her twin brother Shugo to play the legendary character Kite while she plays as the legendary Black Rose. On their first outing together, Shugo is killed by a monster, but is revived by a mysterious girl named Aura. As well as reviving Shugo, Aura gives him a mysterious bracelet. Shugo and Rena continue to play the world and find many warped monsters. They eventually meet new friends, Murai, Uka, Hotaru and Sanjuro. However, while searching through a haunted mansion, Rina disappears and falls into a coma. Shugo and Rina's friends frantically search for a solution, while a group of children plan something terrible. The Cerulean Knights, a debugging team for CC Corp., hinder the situation by trying to capture Shugo because of his bracelet. When Shugo and company reach a mysterious place where Rena might be, they are met by a hostile AI named Morty. Using the bracelet and a little help from an inside ally, the group locates the source of the problem and proceed to stop it. They transport themselves to a root town that is not open to the public yet, where Shugo manages to defeat the AI, however, due to some of the programming of the AI, the world will be destroyed. Shugo and Rina then activate Kite and Blackrose's joint power to save the world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. Rei Azumi describes Hack Legend of the Twilight as the story of the future and the first to usher in the Hack franchise and the last to end. The series took Azumi and Tatsuya Hamazaki three and a half years to complete. Hack Legend of the Twilight was originally planned to be two volumes long, but a decision was made to extend the series. As a result, the original story was rewritten. Additionally, the scene with Kamui and Zephi was extended. Kamui was originally male, her axe was not broken, and her role ended after she tossed away Grunty. Despite this, Azumi wanted to include more of Kamui and Balmung in the series. Azumi and Hamazaki created Riki, Balmung's assistant, and Magi, Kamui's assistant. As they were deciding on character names, the two were not in the original draft of Hack Legend of the Twilight. Riki was invented because Azumi and Hamazaki needed a character for Balmung to communicate with. Azumi suggested Riki and Tatsuya offered Magi for the names of the two assistants. Media Topic Manga written by Tatsuya Hamazaki and illustrated by Rei Azumi, Hack, Legend of the Twilight Bracelet appeared as a serial in the Japanese magazine Comptic, and was collected in three tankoban by Kadokawa Shoten from July 2002 to April 2004. The manga is licensed for an English language release in North America by Tokyopop, who shortened the title to Hack, Legend of the Twilight. It released the series from September 9, 2003 to November 9, 2004. Tokyopop also released a box set of the volumes in September 2005, and an omnibus of the series on December 8, 2009. The series is also published in Singapore in English by Chang Yi, who also released it in New Zealand and Australia through Madman Entertainment. It is also licensed in Argentina by Editorial Ivory, in Brazil by Editora JBC, in Germany by Carlsen Comics, in Finland by Sangatsu Manga, in Sweden by Bonnier Carlsen, in Italy by J-Pop, in Indonesia by M&C Comics, in Poland by JPF and in France by Panini Comics. Topic. Volume list Topic. Anime The word, bracelet, in the title was removed in North America, shortening the title to, Hack, Legend of the Twilight, though TV listings retained the original title during the show's run on Cartoon Network as part of its late Friday night, early Saturday morning graveyard slot block from 2004-2005. The opening theme music is, New World performed by Round Table featuring Nino. The ending theme is, Emerald Green, performed by Seesaw and lyrics by Yuki Kajiura and Kiaki Ishikawa. Victor Entertainment released the soundtrack to the anime on February 21, 2003. 
Kiaki Ishikawa and Katsutoshi Kitagawa composed the lyrics while Seesaw, Yoko Weno, and Round Table with Nino performed the songs. Yuji Yoshino composed the songs, and Masanori Shimada and Round Table arranged them. Topic CDs Three CDs for the TV anime series were released. The first is a single of the opening theme New World by Round Table featuring Nino. The second is a soundtrack titled, Hak, Tasogare no Udawa Densetsu Original Soundtrack, Hak, Huang Hun no Wan Lun Yun Shuo Original Soundtrack was released on February 21, 2003. The second is another soundtrack titled, Hak, Tasogare no Udawa Densetsu Character Song and Story, Hak, Huang Hun no Wan Lun Yun Shuo Character Song and Story was released on March 21, 2003. Reception Hack, Legend of the Twilight was positively received by English-language readers. The first volume ranked first on Bookscan for graphic novels and 40th on the "...adult fiction trade paperback list". The third volume placed ninth in Bookscan's list of the top 10 best-selling graphic novel. The one-volume re-release ranked 164th on the list of the 300 best-selling graphic novels with an estimated 544 copies sold for December 2009. It received lukewarm reviews from critics for its child-oriented and generic art, and being more light-hearted than, hack, sign, and oriented towards a younger audience. Another reviewer labeled it as one of the worst manga that he had ever read for its confusing and cliché storytelling. Carlos Ross of them Anime Reviews found Hack Legend of the Twilight to be inferior to the other Hack series. He criticized the creepy subtext between Shugo and Rina, calling them clingier and more over affectionate than any real life siblings should be. Equals <laughs> equals notes.